beer for breakfast, facts for snacks. Here I am. Anyways, having something different again. Uh, a lager this time, a lager. Let's see how this one does. Uh, this is from uh, Amsterdam Brewery in Toronto, Ontario. Some say it's not craft, it is craft. Uh, three speed lager, 4.2% alcohol. Now this can usually we have 473 mil. This is a 568 mil can. This is right here, 20% larger. Uh, they brew this uh, 28 days. They lager it for 28 days um, for the exceptional smoothness. I've had this before. I can't recall remembering what it tastes like, but it is what it is, 568 mil can. Uh, Amsterdam good beer. A unique blend of hops and malts that provide a clean, refreshing taste. Three Speed is our most versatile beer uh, suitable with any food or occasion. Yes, they say drink this in the winter. Yes, they say drink this on a hot sun sunny day. Yes, drink this with the best food pairings. That's what they're saying. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Like you said, uh, $3.35. Now, this might be priced right. I know it's only 4.2%, $3.35, and you get what, 568 mil. I don't know what that is in ounces, but uh, you know, it might be priced maybe maybe a bit more than what I think at 4.2%. I said every once in a while I grab one of these and put it in the back of the fridge, and then I forget about it and then drink it seven months later. And then I say, oh, I gotta grab another one and forget about it and drink it. It's absolutely clear. You could tell there's a little tint in there that uh, that gives it that little bit of a you know craft brewery look. But upside down snowfall, snap, crackle, pop, rice crispy head. It's going away pretty quick. It's got a little bit of hops, a little bit of maltiness, and a fruity like a like a, a little hint of um, like a crab apple. Uh, and that's what I'm getting in these lagers and you know it's true I do smell uh, apples in a lot of lagers uh, and I, I don't I smell like a, a a skunky apple to this one which would be a crab apple smell um, there it is guys so, you know it's nice it's cold it's been in the freezer for an hour after it's been in the fridge all night um, cheers guys to a happy Monday happy happy Monday Okay, it's not bad. 4.2%. Yeah, it's definitely crushable. You could drink a ton of these, of course, and it won't get you, you know, not even a buzz at 4.2. But yeah, a lot of people get drunk off a of light beer. Here comes the bees again. They smell the hops, I swear. I swear, I'm getting sick of these bees. I'm going to have to do something else. I'm going to probably have to do reviews inside or inside a tent or something. Um, it's good. It's not my favorite light lager. Uh, Budweiser is definitely still better in this. So the price now, two sixty for four seventy three, three thirty three. Budweiser still would be the better choice to get for me, just because you get five percent alcohol and it's a smoother, smoother beer brewed with rice. Not saying anything's horrible with this. It's just that, uh, once again, I know you're trying to give more beer. Still lower your price. This is worth three bucks. Uh, you know, a 568 mil bottle or, or can. I mean, it's still worth three bucks, not three thirty-five. If this was three dollars, guys, this would be a better rating than Budweiser. But guess what? It's not, is it? Because you guys are greedy, son of a bitches. That's what you are. You're a craft brewery that's trying to be greedy. Uh, and all craft breweries are trying to be greedy uh, and that's the shitty thing is is that macros overtake and here I go with my rent macros overtake the world in beer because uh, like I said most in Canadian buy two four of it it's cheaper if you buy two four of it these you go buy six pack sure but you can't buy 24 of these and at the liquor store you're going to get singles um, and, and it's like most beers out there that are craft is that you really can't get more than a six pack of it 
and then it's not cheap. So most in Canadian Coors Light, uh, excuse me again, most in Canadian Coors Light, the more you buy, so 24 of them, the cheaper it is. And that's how they get you. Because you know when, when I go there and go buy some old Milwaukee, I buy two for Because it's cheaper to buy two for than two dollars and ten cents a can. Because if I buy two for it, now it's less than two two dollars a can. It is what it is. Guys, rating on this. Uh seven seven. Seven seven. It's okay. It's not bad, it's drinkable. But I keep saying, guys, try something different. Try lager. Give it a shot. Like I said, for the price point, the macros are better for lagers. In most points, anyways. Like, Except the, uh, the uh, Willy Bald ex Export Lager. That was amazing. But usually when I drink lagers, I stick to the macros. Because first, they're cheaper. Second, there's not much different in taste. That's my opinion. I stick with uh, Kraft for uh, the stouts, the, the, the honey browns, the, the IPAs. Yeah, absolutely, right? But stick to the macro, guys, if you guys are going to drink lagers. That's my opinion. 7-7, seven, seven. like, comment, and subscribe. I may be back later. I may not be. I'm just inside watching TV. Have a good one, guys. Be kind to your neighbors, eh? Don't forget. And try something different. Cheers.